Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I am so excited to have you here today. It is a Friday and this is day one of the Little Red Dress Project Challenge for 2021. I hope that you guys are excited as I am about this challenge. I think it's going to be amazing. So far there has been a lot of interest and a lot of people have said I am in. So I'm looking forward to all these projects. In today's video, my goal here is just to share with you a few inspirations that I found online while browsing and some pattern possibilities that may work for them. So they may not quite be the exact replica sort of pattern that you're going to use to create um, a, a project similar to the inspiration piece, but it's something that gives you a look and a feel for the design. And basically these inspirations are to get you motivated and to help you with your choice. These are just pieces that I really love and I think that they will work beautifully for the challenge for the holiday season in the color red. But obviously in the end it's up to you to make your decision. I'm just here to help you along the way. I'll also, <laughs> I want to take this opportunity to thank my co-host Kira all my ambassadors as well as our sponsors. I will leave a link to my previous video where I announce the names of everyone that is partaking as ambassadors and our sponsors that will be giving amazing prizes to six <laughs> lucky winners. So you can check out that video as well as in the description where I will leave links to everything that you need to help you understand the challenge and take part in the event. So let's jump into these inspirations. You guys are going to see me take a peek down at my phone because I have them there and it's easy to not forget what to share and just go on memory. So I will be peeking down here and that is what I am doing. So let's move on to inspiration number one. Okay, so during this year, if you have been following trends or just, you know, walking around, heading into stores, you know that tiered dresses are the thing. They are the bomb for 2021. And I thought it would be really nice to include a design such as that for this challenge as an option. So this beautiful gold dress is amazing. It looks like it's made with satin and I think that a red version of this will be a beautiful addition to someone's wardrobe as well as to the challenge. I love the fullness of this version. I think it is masterfully done and I do like that the back is open. It's a little shock so a, a wow factor which I seem to have fallen in love with this year. So for this inspiration, I feel that McCall's M8087 is a good option. Now, most of the designs don't follow the inspiration, but I feel like version C is the best option here. As you can see on the neck line, you can tie this around your neck, but if you want to create something similar to the inspiration all you have to do is probably just try on the dress and attach those straps to the back so that you get a similar look and feel. Okay, now option number two, or should I say inspiration two, I have a statement mini holiday dress. This one is super cute. It is very simple in the front because it has a teardrop in the front a high crew neckline but the back is so amazing and in such a fantastic fabric just imagine some sort of sequin in this design the red is going to pop and it's going to be such a surprise if you have no 
issues wearing uh, an open bag such as this. Now, for this option, I found it a little tricky, so here is where you guys can help me. If you know of a pattern that would be a good option for this inspiration, please leave it down below so others can check it out and possibly even make it. So, I thought that the McCall's M7740 would be a possible option for this dress because version C has a similar open bag. It is not as curved as the inspiration. It's more of a straight line um, following all the way down to the waist. But it's a nice option. The silhouette is almost similar and basically that's why I picked it because the skirt portion is pretty similar to that of the inspiration dress. Now, I think that this one would work really nice in that sort of deep burgundy color. I think a velvet burgundy fabric would be perfect for this inspiration. I can just see it right now. It's powerful, it is strong, and it is beautiful. And I think that a shimmery fabric as well would do perfect. So sequence, and there are many options out there. So that's my take on inspiration number two so let's take a look at the next inspiration i thought that this one was super cute it can be made for someone that is younger that is partaking in this challenge it's also a very fun one and almost casual so you're not going to somewhere that is super ott but you definitely are going to be festive if you make this dress in red. So it's more of a comfy velvet holiday style dress. I love the details. It has um, a tiered portion to the skirt and it's shorter. So not too much tears going on there, just two. But I think this velvet makes it look super luscious. And just imagine that in some tone of red, it will definitely pop. I love the slight uh, opening at the neck there. Just not so heavy with the dark color because it's in black. So if it was like closed, it would be very like heavy. But since it's open and it's showing a little skin, it just gives it a lighter feel. And I think this one would be really perfect for the challenge one thing that i wasn't too sure about was the the booty here but looking at it right now i think it's super cool and um that that is totally awesome it's just a edgy sort of holiday festive dress so looking forward to seeing someone with something similar for the challenge so for this pattern pairing, I was browsing all over the internet and I went over to the Fold Line. A shout out to Fold, the Fold Line, they are sponsoring um, one of our prizes. And while there, I found the Kate's Sewing Patterns. This is super new to me, I have never heard of them before, but I do like their Athena dress. I think the silhouette really fits the inspiration. It There are some differences, but overall, if you take this dress and you use a similar fabric, if you like the inspiration, you will get an almost identical look to this dress. And I think it is so bomb. It's beautiful. Do people say that's the bomb anymore? I don't know but I just did, so maybe I'll bring it back if it's not in. <laughs> Anyways, I do really like this dress. It's so comfy. It's it's really giving like summer vibes to me. And why am I thinking about summer? Because we're on the real end of summer right now, not even the tail end. It's almost completely gone, but this would be a fun dress for the summer. However, isn't it amazing that you can take different fabrics and create a similar projects for woven fabric. So 
This fabric definitely is woven, but the inspiration is more of a stretchy type because it's velvet and you can definitely figure out, you know, especially if you've been sewing for a while, if you can actually attempt or try to use a stretch fabric or fabric with some stretch for a woven pattern. Obviously, you'll have to play around a little bit to see if you win, but I think those are the challenges that we just go through as a sewist and we learn as we go and the more you do it, the better eye you have for these sorts of things. So I would totally recommend trying this pattern for a velvet fabric because it's going to have a nice drape and it's going to be a very comfortable piece. The next inspiration I have for you guys is more of a woven style statement sleeve. So this one is super cute. I couldn't find anything that would work for this inspiration. Um, I haven't done too much digging. I've tried my best, but everything that keeps coming to mind for this inspiration, uh, is more like McCall's 8141. So not not a hundred percent identical, but the look and the feel is there. Now I am thinking that for this version here, um, version A would be the option that I would use because the skirt portion of that pattern design has the flow and the feel of the inspiration. I'm not sure about the neckline, but I'm kind of digging it. I think it looks really nice, especially if you use some sort of stretch silk satin or um, a velvet. Like right now, I feel for the season, velvet is king. I know a lot of people probably love sequins, but I, I made one sequins dress, and I think that's the last I'll ever make of a sequins dress because it... It took a lot of my brain cells away and I had to like you have to take out all the sequins that are in your scenes so you have to pick those out and that takes forever and I'm not interested in that right now maybe in the future maybe if there's a sequin fabric that is beautiful and they there are many that are I'm just I don't have the patient right now for something like that, but if you do, this dress would look beautiful in a red sequence, especially those that have the two tones. That would be magnificent for this dress. Again, velvet, I feel like is the best option. Silk, but for me, these kinds of fabric, I always want something that has a little stretch because it just makes your life a little easier when you have that little extra give. So I'm always rooting for the stretch in my fabric. So another inspiration that I thought was beautiful is this lovely wine color dress. Everything about this says festive dinner party holiday party it's just beautiful it has a lovely flow the drape is nice i love the flutter sleeve i couldn't find an inspiration pattern for this one although in my mind i swear that mccall's has a pattern similar to this i'm thinking the reason i couldn't find an option is probably because i was looking in the dress section but there may be a blouse that has this sort of sleeve that can work for this pattern. If you guys know what I'm talking about, leave the, the, the link to that pattern down below because I'm pretty sure McCall's has something similar to this, especially in the sleeve of this dress. I also had the thought that Simplicity have a dress that has this similar look and feel, but I looked through and I had no success. So I was a bit up. I was a bit upset about that because I swear like I knew exactly where to go to find something that would make this dress and then I'm searching searching and I couldn't find anything so that was really annoying 
but you guys are awesome at finding these things so please leave a link down below if you found anything on simplicity's website or mccall's that is a good pattern possibility for this inspiration now i know i just went on a mini rant about sequins dresses but for me i never say never i just say at this time I don't like to do something or I'm not going to do something because you just never know what the future holds. So I inserted these two beautiful red sequin dresses. The first one is my favorite. I really love this fit, especially around the um, midriff area, how it hugs her body and it just cinches in the waist. I love, love, love how that looks. And the sleeve of this first one is my favorite you guys know i love any pattern that has a beautiful sleeve a statement sleeve and that cuff detail really accentuates the the style of um, a sleeve in any design the second pattern here this one is really nice as well but it's more tame it just it's not super exciting it's beautiful, but it's not as wow as the first one. But I thought I would just share it with you for anyone that loves sequin and would like to try it for the challenge. So I couldn't find an exact pattern match, but I feel like this British style pattern is a good option or alternative to something that isn't exactly like the inspiration, but definitely gives off that feel for it so this is birder style 11 2016 design 111 so it is the november issue from the year 2016 and i think it's a really beautiful option that can give you that similar look of the inspiration it's just a glorious design and i know that the instructions for Berta has gotten amazing and very uh, well put together over the last few years. So if you're new and you're nervous about using Berta style, you don't really have anything to fear because they have definitely stepped up their game. So let's move on to another inspiration. I think that this one is so cool. It is very comfortable. It's amazing. I love it. When I first saw it, I was like, Ooh, maybe I should make something like this. But I've already made a sweater holiday dress. As you guys know, if you watched my video from last Sunday, that I made the Vanessa dress from Made for Mermaids. And this inspiration here is my what am I calling this? I'm calling this the knockout sweater holiday dress. I think it's amazing. I do love this color silver, but this would be totally a showstopper in red, especially if you can definitely get something that has the same sort of lines like this or a textured, uh, a textured velvet that gives off this same uh, feel. So it could be like a chevron print or um, a window pane print if you can get something like that making it in this sort of sweater design is going to be really fun and especially if you live somewhere cooler you're going to feel warm because as I said in my video last week I was super hot in that sweater dress and I liked it because I'm the sort of person that I get cold a lot I really do feel cold like with two drops in the temperature i feel it so having something that makes me feel cozy and warm is always a a plus for this time of the year especially when you're going out to a party a dinner party and it's in the afternoon we know that the temperature is going to drop in the evening and you're going to want something that's going to keep you warm but you still want to look beautiful and sometimes you don't want to have a ton of bulk so i think uh, a fantastic sweater dress could be an amazing option for this challenge so let's move on to another inspiration that i searched high and low and could not find 
any sort of inspiration, but I tried to pair up two different patterns if there are any pattern hackers here that want to try this inspiration. So as you can see from the, uh, the photo that this is a shirt dress and I love the neckline of the shirt. It's a little open, but if you're not into that, showing so much you can definitely wear a camisole or a bandeau underneath but it's more of a, a shirt dress and I feel like it's like a mock wrap if if I'm looking at the picture and I'm getting the same um, if you're getting the same vibes as me off of this picture it doesn't look like a straight like shirt pattern with buttons down the front I'm feeling like it's more of a full wrap sort of shirt style and then that skirt with the um, pleating on one side is beautiful so I love that about it I love the fabric the shine and everything says festive holiday season I just couldn't find a pattern that would be the perfect option so for this one I picked McCall's M8142 as the possible pattern choice and the the version that I'm thinking about is version 8 and I'm thinking about the bodice half of this pattern and if you can pair it with the itch to stitch uh, petaluma a full wrap dress that skirt half would almost give you a similar feel so that is one of the inspirations that I think would make a really pretty pairing for the challenge and it would just be a fantastic outfit especially if you kept the sleeves of the McCall's pattern on this one and let's see do I have another pattern possibility yes I do this is the last one and this is a glorious pattern look at this isn't it amazing I love halter necks. They are my favorite dresses to wear. I have strong shoulders. I love to show them. I just feel that they really make me look good. It's just something that I feel comfortable in and confident in and halters just really shows off the best part of me and I love them. So this is one of my favorites out of all that I've shown you and I do love the back detail on this one as well so for this pattern pairing I I knew exactly which pattern I wanted I knew it was a simplicity pattern and luckily for me when I went on their website they had it so it is a simplicity 8330 definitely the red dress on this pattern is the version that would work the best and the back is almost identical to the inspiration i think that this would be amazing again in that sort of stretch a satin or a silk again this would look good in that sort of a stretch a satin or stretch silk something that has a little shine to it and also has a, a little uh, structure or should I say recovery once you get into it so those are my inspiration to you to kick off the little red dress project for 2021 I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with I'm just so happy about this entire process so far has been amazing so many people have been so supportive and just loving the challenge so i feel very grateful and i'm really appreciative of everyone so yes meet us all on instagram from today throughout the end of this challenge and share your inspirations share your fabric share your ups and your downs that people will come and help you they'll support you they'll guide you just use the hashtag the little red dress project 21 or the original hashtag the little red dress project and we are here to support you and i cannot wait to share more on this challenge so that is it from today if you have any questions please let me know um leave 
leave them down below as well as head over to Instagram, DM me or Kira. She is supporting me on this channel as well as any of the other ambassadors. So everything you need will be left below. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you on another upload. Bye-bye.